Welcome to your daily double reading. Today we are going to be asking the question, what kind of guidance do you have about what you're currently manifesting? So what does spirit have for you based on your current manifestation or what you're looking to bring into the world? And to do that, we are using the Oracle of the Seven Energies along with the Essential Tarot. And I'm going to get you two card combos to choose from. So you may want to kind of just tap in, ask yourself, what am I uh, working on this week? What am I bringing to life? What is my hope for the future? Like what kind of dream or vision do I have? What do I want to manifest? And then see if you get a nudge one way or another. Okay. And we'll have the tarot. All right, there you go. Card combo number one or card combo number two. Once you've made your selection, head down to the description box and click on the timestamp next to the card combo you've chosen for your messages today. And I will see you in your daily double reading. Hello, group one, and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here for your message. We're gonna looking at energy connected to what you're currently manifesting. And we have, oh, healing the heart. This is a 23, five. Yeah, it feels like something is changing for this group. There's an opening of the heart as a result of this energy. So if your manifestation or what you're going after is not feeling like it's connected to your heart center or it's feeling like it's been blocked, this feels like I am opening my heart. There may be something that's um, going on over the course of the week that allows you to come out of a rigid stance, a protection stance that wasn't needed, uh, whatever was blocking you starts to dissolve. And, and I'm talking around your heart center, right? Um, do, 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 yeah, they're kind of giving me this feeling of opening through a act or an understanding or like a decision. So you may decide to forgive somebody. You may decide to forgive yourself. You may decide to step into full gratitude um, and appreciation. You may acknowledge something in your life that sets you back into like a compassionate understanding or empathetic energy, which is all like around the heart center. Anything having to do with loving yourself, loving another, loving what you do, like noticing um, what might be missing from what you're trying to manifest and how it connects to your heart center. So like, are you doing it for reasons other than it's something that you love? That's what I would ask here because I feel that there is a block, right? That's what needs the healing. And blocks are normal. <laughs> Everybody's blocked all the time. There's always something blocking us. That's the human like experience, really. Uh, things come in for us to be able to heal, for us to be able to detach from, for us to be able to uh, dissolve, um, transmute, transition, right? A transform yes to rise above and so this for you it sounds like something's been blocking this I just feel like there's a reconnection to the heart that's needed so if there's something that you're trying to manifest let's say trying being a very important word but let's say you're on the track to manifesting something if you're doing something that doesn't quite sit in your heart right or it's not in your heart anymore to do it that's what you're going to want to look at here. Something that doesn't feel aligned, something that you don't really love. Ask yourself those questions. Let's see what we have here. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, this is so wonderful. Yeah, whatever you guys are trying to manifest, whether this could be like a relationship, a partnership, a better vibe between you and a friend or a lover or a family member or a coworker, you know, it could be anything. Two of Cups is like this beautiful combination. It's all heart 
all heart-centered energy flowing together, giving and taking in perfect balance. Mm. I almost feel like a lot of you are forgiving. It, they, they haven't put the word down. I was, I was trying to skate by it, but they just have not put that word down in my mind's eye. So there feels to be like some forgiveness. And now with the two of cups, it's like, are you trying to forgive someone? Are you trying to forgive yourself for what you did to someone or like the way you acted? Um, are you trying to have more compassion or empathy that opens your heart up for this forgiveness energy? It feels like it's blocking your manifestation. No, we know it is, right? It, it's kind of like, no, no, no. We need to open up our heart here in order to be able to receive so that we can work in this reciprocity energy as opposed to blocking that. Because maybe you need people or you're going to be meeting people or you're meant to be connecting with people that have to do with what you're currently manifesting. And if this energy is blocked, even if that doesn't have to do with the people that you want to meet, let's say, or the people you want to exchange energy with, it's just something else sometimes that line can block the whole sphere, you know, and we don't want to do that. So I would say use the word forgiveness because they have not put it down, group one. They have not put it down. Something needs to change as it concerns your relationships and it has to do with choice. Twos are about choosing, two of cups specifically, about relationships, choosing from the heart, choosing to heal the heart, uh, choosing specific people that connect to your heart, and if there is some sort of resistance, use forgiveness, gratitude, appreciation. Use that because it's the quickest way to open your heart. And that's what I feel the goal is here as it connects to what you're currently manifesting, group one. So I hope that this serves you. I'm going to send you tons and tons and tons of love because that's what we want to just soak into our systems to be able to have that heart wide open, free, and ready to receive. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss my future readings, please give this video a like and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double today. If you are listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo here. We're taking a look at guidance for your current manifestation. So let's see what we have for you. Ooh, exploration, another compass, another compass coming through. The uncharted seas, a 46, and that's a 10-1. There is a new adventure this group is meant to be departing on, going on, thinking about. And might I add, it's not going to be known to you, you know. It's like you can prepare, but you're going to have to trust the journey, and because we have that compass, of course, always north, always north. I've said this already this week in one of the polls, but it's important to kind of recognize when you have a, a compass guiding you, because all that means is your spirit is guiding you forward in the absolute best direction. You don't need to actually, um, what, have everything mapped out, right? It's uncharted, see? This is about flow. This is about trust. Whatever it is that you are manifesting, it may be that you've had a little nudge to, to do something and maybe you're nervous because it is uncharted waters for you or uncharted sea for you and you're afraid to close something out or stop the way that you're doing something in order to begin anew, right? Tens are closures and they're ones at the same time. So something turning over for you to start something new. But it's just scary because look at this water. I mean, I guess. But I like the way that she's put the, you know, stars, which makes it feel kind of like enchanted with the little lantern. It feels like we're able to trust spirit to guide the boat, right? To guide, to, to make way for what needs to happen, what's meant to happen, what's in your highest good. And trusting that if you have your compass pointed towards north, you're always headed in the right direction. This is a trusting energy for this group. And I feel like it's the start of something new. This makes me feel like get in the boat. Let them like flow. Get in the boat. They want to lead you. Let's see what's connected. Ooh, the seven of cups. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, looking, I'm asking about the arrangement of the cups. Mm hmm. There's something about, whoop, there's something about these four cups down here just in a row. It makes me feel that this is foundational. Like it's almost like you already know what to do with these ones. Like they're all lined up. 
So it's like, I already have a foundation for this. <laughs> so group two, if you've been thinking about something, you've been putting things in place, it may be time to leap and start trusting. And then these look like they're gonna fall into place. That's not entirely what a seven of cups would be. A seven of cups is like uh, a card of choice, choosing from the heart. But to me, I feel like you have probably been thinking about this, uh, leaning into it, feeling about it, choosing, making choices from the heart, because there's some sort of setup that is already here. So maybe you're not working from, uh, like starting from scratch. You may be working from a foundation already, and you're just needing to allow these pieces to fall into place, which provides you with, you know, how you're going to move forward. And so in order to do that, you have to like trust the universe to place them as opposed to you. So it's a card of choice, but I'm not getting that vibe from the seven of cups. I think you've already chosen and maybe, yeah, you need to follow your heart and make the choice that's best for your heart and to embark upon the uncharted waters. But I feel more that this seven of cups is to do with the dream that you have for yourself coming to life. And instead of trying to make it happen, you're being guided to let these ones fall. It's like you've done what you needed to do. It's like you've built the boat, right? I built the boat and now I wanna steer it as well. This oar is being not, there's nobody on the, <laughs> there's nobody steering the boat. <laughs> there's nobody paddling the boat. Um, it's all spirit. And that's what I feel these three are like gonna come and sit down on the foundation that you've already built. It, it's almost the feeling of they're saying you have done enough and now it's time to leap. Now it's time to trust. Now it's time to get in the boat and don't try to steer it anymore. You built the boat. So let us show you um, how this is going to settle into place or what this new adventure has to show you or give you, right? To provide for you, to, to receive. So it does require trust and it's, it may be a new way for you to move about creating a manifestation or creating something altogether. Like the old way you did it, maybe it worked last time, but only this much works this time. And for the rest, we actually have to trust. And so you did what you needed to do, which you know works. And if you're hitting any kind of wall or what have you, this is the time where you have to leap you know, get into the boat, sit in the back. I always picture like sitting in the back in a hot tub or whatever you like, tanning, whatever you're doing, reading a book and letting spirit guide you. Believe me, they'll tell you when it's time for you to show up. I feel like there's a bit of a flow and a trust and a new way to do something that is coming into play this week as it concerns whatever you're trying to manifest or what you've been working on. It's almost like a break. And then once these come down and slot into place, which they are connected to what you were imagining for yourself, what your heart wants, then it's probably gonna be your time to act again, it's the, ba the back and forth, right? Like pretty soon this will get to shore and then you've gotta get off <laughs> and you know make choices and take actions. So for now, this week, whatever you're manifesting, there's a new turnover here. I would be open to new ways of doing things and patting yourself on the back for doing the work you needed to do and asking yourself which way is true north so I can just let that flow. Wow. I feel like the uncharted sea is going to provide you much more than you would expect. Something different than you had imagined. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a very good thing. So I hope that this serves you for the week as you're moving forward, flowing, and letting spirit take the wheel. Uh, if something resonated with you in this reading, feel free to give this video a like for me and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss my future readings. And I'll see you in the next one.